but let's just start here. This was exactly, Danny, what the Vikings had to do yes. to get back on track. I went so far as saying all week long, if just based on how tough the NFC is, the Rams are legit, the Seahawks look legit, the Packers are legit, the Bears are legit. I mean, that's just two of the divisions. We keep going. Like Saints, legit. If you lost this game today, I think your season was over. Yeah. Um, this is the start of a four game stretch that has a lot of winnable games in it. If you include a home game against Philadelphia, that's a tough matchup, but it's a home game. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get Washington on the horizon. I, uh, Detroit again, road game, not a gimme. Um, but this is probably your easiest four game stretch of the rest of the season. Yeah. And, and it, it's not even all that easy. It's, it's not. No, cause uh, two road games for one. And then obviously, um, that game against Washington for, Many different reasons could be interesting for Kirk Cousins. It's a yeah. Thursday night game. It's prime time. But my main takeaway is after all the drama from the week, Stefan Diggs getting fined two hundred thousand dollars, not Ooh. showing up to mandatory meetings and practices, and your quarterback apologizing to your uh, one of your star wide receivers, Adam Thielen, for not getting in the ball. You checked all the boxes you had to check this week. Get Adam Thielen the ball. Make sure he's happy. Get Stefan Diggs the ball a couple times. Make sure he's happy. Could have got him the ball a little bit more. He had three (laughs) catches, 44 yards. So that's kind of one of those things where now he can't really be that upset because they won and the offense looked better, but he wasn't part of it. He can't, he doesn't feel like he's indispensable today. Yeah, but I, I would hope that a team win and the passing game being as good as it was, I would hope that it's no longer, at least for one week, about Stefan Diggs. But yeah. I guess we'll find out. We we certainly will find that out. So it's, it's it feels a little bit like the Oakland game in some ways in that you didn't learn a ton about this team. They did what they had to do today, and Kirk Cousins did what he had to and should have done today. But there are still a lot of tests on the horizon. So I think this kind of did the same thing. Like you said, the Oakland game what it did for me. I didn't learn anything, but it confirmed things for me. Like today confirmed Dalvin cook, still really good. This offense can still do some good things. The defense still really, really good. Yeah. But did I learn anything about this team? No. Like I still, the questions that I had before still exist. I I don't know if Kirk cousins can get it done in a big spot because this was far from a big spot. So that question is still going to exist now. Luckily for the Vikings, it looks like they're getting a little bit of help elsewhere as it looks like Chicago is about to lose to Oakland. And you've got a, I think root for Dallas to be green Bay to keep the division race, I guess a bit more of a race for you if you're the Vikings and the lions are off this week. So you could pick up a game in the division if things fall your way and, and they halfway have at least. Yeah. Chicago losing to Oakland is such a gift that falls into your lap here. If you're the Vikings, that's yeah. just a game. That's a game that you have to hold serve on if you're the Bears. The mm-hmm. Vikings held serve on it. Um, it's just a game that you have to hold serve on. Uh, AJ has been kind of combing through our comment section. So you guys, if whether you're watching us on Twitch or or uh, Twitter or Facebook, send us in your comments and send us in your opinions, and we'll read them on the show here. So let's let's start with a couple here. Yeah, first one is Raiders didn't look too great about uh, against the Vikings, but they're looking really good against the Bears. Like you said, they're probably going to pick up a win. How do you evaluate uh, maybe how the Vikings have grown since that Raiders matchup to where the Raiders are now beating the team that the Vikings lost to just last week? I don't know that the Vikings have necessarily grown. I think maybe the Raiders have grown a little bit. And I think the Raiders are also not quite as bad as we anticipated them being. The Vikings beat them up at, at the the type of their own type of game. And the Bears just don't have the offense, I don't think, to be able to do that. I think that the the Vikings offense is better than the Bears offense. And that's even with Chase Daniel, who's an upgrade over Mitch Trubisky in the game, the Vikings are more able to impose their will offensively than the Bears. And I think that that's why we're seeing Oakland trying to put the the finishing touches on a 24 to 21 win over Chicago as we speak. Um, I mean, I'm not – I think this game for the Bears was just – it had – Trap games are so cliche, but I mean, this was all the ingredients, right? Well, and travel. Yeah, not just travel, traveling to London. They tra- the, the Raiders went there early in the week. The Bears didn't go to London until Friday. Yeah. And I'm curious how much that plays into this recipe. Also, I mean, think about the Bears just had this huge emotional win over the Vikings, uh, a complete defensive domination. And, you know, it's human nature. You gear up for that game against Minnesota, mm-hmm. and you look ahead, and all right, it's a, it's London, it's the Raiders, everything's different. Um, it's a sort of a touristy trip for you. Yeah. But I, I, I'm not going to say that just because the Bears slipped up against the Raiders that the Raiders are now better than 
well, maybe that was a better win for the. It was no. the Raiders are not a playoff team. The Raiders are not very good, and they beat the Bears. I still think the Bears are a notch above the Vikings in this division until the Vikings prove otherwise, mm-hmm. and they're going to get another shot much, much later in the season. We'll yeah. see if that game is still relevant. And same for the Packers, too. Whether the Packers win or lose today to Dallas, it, they are still a notch above the Vikings because of what they did at Lambeau Field.